Hi, it's Jim Norton, mumbling douchebag. You're at Maxim.com. No shit. Thank you all for risking your lives and coming to this neighborhood. Jesus Christ, if I do another special, maybe I can get a theater in Fallujah. Was that always part of your plan? Did you ever think you'd have that on your resume, best selling album? No. Um, you know, it's like, I, I, the first one, Happy Endings, I wrote, which was basically just my sex life. I was depressed. We had gotten thrown off the radio with Obie and Anthony in 2002. So I was just blogging. I always knew I wanted it to be a book, but I couldn't motivate myself to write, so I just blogged about all the hookers I was getting. And it uh, became a book, and I guess people enjoyed the stories. Did you change the names to protect the You have to. I didn't know most. I'm sure they changed their names. They didn't want to admit that they were me for money. You know, they, what's your name? Crystal. Really? I'm sure. I was out with my girlfriend's family, who I did not want to be out with. And I found a wonderful way to end the evening early. When it gets really quiet at the table, you just blurt out, boy, I sure would love to at Dakota Fanning. <laughs> A lot of people don't realize, you were, um, you were, I think, Angry New Yorker number three in the, the Spider-Man movie. He stinks and I don't like him. Yes, S it, 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 Surly Truck Driver, which was STD, which was a very, you know, odd coincidence. It's amazing how people still, like, people really, I guess because it was a huge movie, but people, like, who don't really haven't seen it, they'll be, so you were Spider-Man, tell us. I'm like, well, I had one line. <laughs> One and done. I'm the king of one line. Like Kevin Smith is a friend of mine, so he'll put me in Zach and Beer or he put me in Cop Out. But they just have to cut me to one or two lines because I'm, you know, I bug my eyes. Patrice O'Neill said I have silent film eyes when I act, <laughs> which is not a compliment. That's not the sign of a great thespian. God bless burn victims. They always look like they just walked into their own surprise party. You have a. Uh... You have a feature in the uh, the new issue of Maxim, the October issue. I do, you, yeah. You rant about Halloween and the, the yeah. do's and don'ts when you're a kid versus when you're an adult. Um, when's the last time you actually did anything for Halloween? I don't sell. I don't do. I say I don't celebrate. I don't do much. Um, I'm trying to think of my girlfriend I dressed up last year. No, I just never do. Um, it's a great day for trannies, though. You know what I mean? Because you know, it's like, uh huh, it's my friend. You know. Then I realize you're gonna go home and each other off. <laughs> I've seen some funny outfits though. One guy was walking around in a Superman cape with like a, a, a wheelchair. He was supposed to be Christopher Reeve, which I thought was really vicious. There's always a few that tie in some horrendous social event with what's been going on. So I kind of, without Halloween, that's always, always some tasteless funny ones. And I gotta be honest, man, I like having a girlfriend. I was single for so long, five years, and uh, I like being in a relationship. And there's little weird things to get used to, like after sex, as we're laying there, I have to keep repeating to myself, do not hand her cash. Do not hand her cash. Which is still a nice improvement over last year when it was ignore the Adam's apple. Ignore the Adam's apple. What do you predict will be this year's sort of tasteless holiday? Trying to think Mel Gibson or Tiger Woods maybe. Uh, what else happened? What was tragic that happened? Uh, well, BP oil spill. Oh God, someone will walk around with oil animals taped to them, or fake <laughs> animals. Seagulls. Oh yeah, 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 some pelican with oil on it. Uh, yeah, there'd be some really good ones like that. Yeah. <laughs> Last minute shameless plug you want to give to the Maxim online audience? That... The only gig I'll be doing locally is Foxwoods in Connecticut. This is how awful I am. I'm actually going to look on my shitty iPhone calendar right now and see what it is. <laughs> Wrong password. Ugh, God, am I an asshole? That's what happens when you have like photos of your own dick on your phone. You better keep a password. Otherwise, mother may pick it up. Uh, the 15th, 14th. The 15th, 14th, and 16th. That's a smooth way to say it. October 14th through 16th, Foxwoods in Connecticut. I'll be performing my mediocrity. Wow. And you actually missed the therapy session to be here, right? I but, did, yes. Yeah. But uh, I told her my therapist that. called me. That's how f***ed up I am when I missed the session. She's like, oh, he's probably killed himself. Um, yeah, I missed it. But we'll talk about my sexual issues next week when I'm there. Every right. Wednesday. All right, great. Well, thank you. We thank really you very much. Coming man. by, and it was good to meet you. Appreciate it. Thanks, man. All right.